Moving right along, tomorrow's Sunday, and we're going to be hosting the Niners in a game that most of you probably won't care too much about, but maybe you should. Uh, this is kind of something that not a lot of people are aware of, but if the Niners win and the Cardinals lose, then next week's game, um, I guess it's Arizona at San Francisco, is pretty much for the NFC West. So I'm just putting that out there. And, you know, we don't know what's going on with Kurt Warner, so if you're looking for a reason to care about this game, well, I tried. Now, from my perspective... I think we're looking to play spoil sport because I don't think we can catch Arizona or, you know, even I don't think we can catch San Francisco if they get up there. So, to me, we're not playing to try and get in the playoffs or anything like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I really don't see it. Best case scenario is 9-7, and seven, which probably won't be enough. So, it's not about that. But we do have motivation to show up and play well. Um... I don't have too much of a feel for this game. I, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Um, I know Forsett got hurt. He may not play. He's probably gonna, but it's a possibility. He may not be 100%, but I'm not really sure if it matters. Because Julius is back, and with our blocking, uh, blocking scheme, the player who's running the ball doesn't matter nearly as much as the blocking itself. So, whoever it is... I think the results will be pretty much the same, so I'm really not too concerned about that. And I think we might be able to run the ball. It's at home. I'm not positive, but I think there's a good chance that we can run the ball simply because it's at home. We really couldn't run the ball the first time we played the Niners, but uh, well, there you go. As for our passing game, again, I'm worried about the pass rush. The Niners don't have a amazing pass rush, but it's a pass rush. And our offensive line being what it is, I just don't know. I feel like if our quarterback, if Matt gets time to throw the ball, we have the receivers to make plays. I don't know if we're going to have that opportunity. So, it's tough for me to get a feel there. Because the offensive line last week was fine. The offensive line really against Minnesota was not as bad as I thought. But, <clears throat> at the same time, you look at what we did in the first game against Arizona, and you're not quite sure what you got. So, on our defensive side, you know, Frank Gore has the tendency of having big games against Seattle. Um... We need, to, we need to do something about that, and I'm not sure if we're going to do that, because he's a good player. It's not just like he explodes against us and sucks against everyone else. He's a good player in general, but um, we can't let him get into the secondary. Uh, can't let him break tackles. Can't let him... You know, he doesn't have great speed, but if you look back at those two long runs he had against us in week two... I guess it was, so, you know, he, he broke away from the pack, and nobody caught him, so, he does have some breakaway speed, okay, so, that's obviously the main concern, I'm really not concerned about Alex Smith, I think we can rattle him up here, uh, hopefully the crowd noise gets to him a little bit, and we can, um, feed off that, I still think we do have a decent home field advantage, even though the team isn't good this year. Um, so, hopefully we can get Alex Smith to turn it over a couple times, because that'll obviously be huge, and you know what? I, I think we can do it. I think we're going to win tomorrow. Um, I, you know, nothing, I'm not guaranteeing anything with this team, because it's not a good team or anything, but, um, it's at home, Alex Smith on the road, I feel pretty good about that, um, you know, a, go, a good home field advantage, I feel good about that. Uh, there is some motivation for this team to not get swept, and I think we're going to do it. I am worried about Frank Gore having a good game on us. He probably will. I mean, he has good games more often than not, but there are some things about this game that have me concerned, but 
I think we can do it. I feel good about this one. Really, I'm looking at the schedule for us ending the season. It's not that bad. We play the Packers. They're good. Not elite, but they're good. We, that's probably not going to happen. But, you know, we play the Bucks. We play the Titans. We play the... Somebody else that's not very good. But there are opportunities here. And... I don't know, I liked the way we controlled the game last week, and that made me kind of feel good about um, the uh, possibility of playing well today. So, uh, not today, tomorrow, but um, I don't know. I uh, it's, uh, This game, I, I just think we're going to do it. I'm not totally sure how it's going to happen. Uh, I think, well, yeah, I'm going to say a couple Alex Smith turnovers... Hopefully he gives the ball to us, you know, at least twice. We can rattle him a little bit up here in Seattle. And um, I'm going to say we make a couple plays in the passing game, and that'll be that. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I uh, want to watch the end of some of these games here. So that's enough for me. And um, as a final note, very sad about the Greg Oden thing. Uh, realistically, I think his career as far as being a potential all-star all is you know, over, so very sad, very disappointed about that, but uh, I suppose that's for another topic, so see ya.